Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a few things to do. First off, I I need to go to my grandmother's house and Alex is gonna come with. Uh, we are actually going to be borrowing her car for a few weeks. Um, so we're going down there to grab the car. We are also going to stop at Tim Hortons this morning. We're gonna get breakfast and then we're going to Costco right before we leave for my grandmother's house because I really wanna get her flowers. Her birthday was on Wednesday and it is Mother's Day on Sunday. So I just wanna get her some flowers to say happy birthday and happy Mother's Day. So that is what we are doing today. Um, but first off, I really need to finish feeding the cats. We have a few things to do before we leave, but we should be leaving really, really soon. But I thought I would bring you guys along. I do also wanna mention that we're not just like grabbing my grandmother's car and she's gonna be without a car. Um, like she has two cars. She's just loaning us one for a little period of time because we need one and we just thought it would be easier this way than buying a new car for the moment since we are both still in school actually I'm no longer in school but Alex is still in school it's just gonna be easier this way and she was kind enough to agree and let us borrow her car for the summer which is very very nice of her you guys look at this tree right here it's starting to bloom there's a little pink flowers on it it's so cute we are currently in the Tim Horton drive-thru we just got I think they're called farmers wrap in English from Tim Hortons I'm pretty sure that's how they're called, farmer's wraps with sausage and we're getting a potato and I'm getting iced coffee, Alex is getting a hot coffee. It's kind of chilly this morning so like I understand that but like iced coffee is just life. I love iced coffee. And yeah, we're just waiting, then we're going to Costco, I'm gonna get my grandmother flowers, I'm so excited. Um, ideally we'd be leaving right after Tim but I really did not want to get her flowers from like a grocery store because I think they just don't last as long their bouquets are not as big and they're so much more expensive for what you're getting so I really wanted to go to Costco to get her like better quality flowers so that's what we're doing guys I need to show you these flowers I got for my grandma they're so pretty look at these look at how nice they are they're so cute and like full of life um, honestly, I have a feeling that they're like gonna restock all the really nice flowers on Sunday like Sunday morning or Saturday night when they end like when they close Because some of their flowers were like kind of old and you could tell that they were old um, And these were like one of the only ones that were really really nice So I'm really happy that I got them. They're so pretty and I'm so excited to give them to them I know to give them to her um, I know that she um, she's gonna be very happy so that's gonna be a nice little surprise for her. I'm gonna eat my potato from Timmy's before it gets all soggy and no longer good. How good is it? Mmm. He already ate his. Alright. Delicious. It is. I'm gonna eat breakfast and I'll do a little montage of all the mountains and all that fun stuff while we're on the road. Right, guys we made it back home I drove my grandma's car all the way here it was kind of weird because it's an SUV and I, I drive like a like a car so it was weird but it's nice to be in an SUV like you're very much like higher than in my car of course we had a lot of like highway to do which is nice in an SUV um, I gotta get used to it but overall it was a really good drive which was really really nice um, I have an appointment this afternoon for the dentist it's well, not the dentist, but like I have a consultation for my wisdom teeth today. So I'm going to that and I was stressing myself out because I just do not want to go. I absolutely do not want to go. I absolutely do not want to get these out. They don't hurt me. They've never bothered me. So I'm just like, I do not want to have to do this. Um, so I might like see with the guy like what he thinks. Um, if he thinks that I can wait it out, then I might wait it out because I've never had any problems with my teeth. So I'm just... Wondering if it's very necessary to do this. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on today. I'll definitely give you guys an update on that. I'm very stressed to go. I don't know why. I just hate appointments. I hate going to appointments. It's at 2.30. Right now it's 1 o'clock. So I'm going to leave in about an hour, an hour 15. It's not too far from here. 
and yeah we'll see whatever we end up doing later i also have a little sephora haul that i want to do i've already opened all of these products and started using them and if you guys follow me on instagram you've already seen them um but yeah i'm going to do a little haul for you guys of all the things that i got because i've been very excited to purchase these now i finally have and i've started using them and i really like them so far um so yeah, I'll do a little haul of that later. What's up guys? I am in my car right now on my way to my appointment. I am so stressed, you guys. I feel like I'm, I'm, ugh, I don't wanna eat. I feel sick. <sighs> I, oh, this is a very stressful process for me. I've been putting this off for years now and I'm on my way. So I am going to go to my appointment and I will give you guys an update after. Hopefully I don't cry because I typically do when I, anything's involved with like the dentist. I just cry because I hate it so much. But yeah, I'll give you guys an update as soon as I get back home. All right, you guys, I'm back from my appointment. They were literally able to schedule me an appointment to get them removed on Thursday. So today is Friday. So like next, well like Thursday, next Thursday, literally in a week, I'm getting, to, I'm getting them taken out in a week which is like, oh my God, I did end up crying. Not like sobbing, but just like a few tears um, because I was stressed. Like literally I was shaking. I was trying to fill out a form that they had me fill and like my hand was shaking, my legs were shaking. Like, <laughs> it's just very stressful for me. Like everybody has different stress and like your emotions are valid, your feelings are valid. Like all of that is valid. And like, this is just the way that I feel about it. Like just going to the dentist in general just stresses me out, I hate it. But anyways, I got an appointment. For Thursday to get them removed <sighs> I'm a bit stressed but it's at 8 o'clock in the morning because I cannot eat anything before getting them taken out um, it's at 8 in the morning I usually wake up between 6 30 and 7 so that's perfect I won't even have time to think about it I won't have time to get hungry I'm just gonna hop in the shower get dressed and head out the door um, Alex is gonna bring me uh, he can wait in the car while I get them removed and um, once they're almost done Alex is going to meet me at the door and bring me to the car <sighs> i'm very stressed and i know that um wednesday night and thursday morning are not going to be pleasant but i will get through it like i will be fine i know i know that i will be fine this is just like a superficial stress that i have it's all in my head it's gonna be fine i'm like not even i'm not even stressed about the pain afterwards i'm stressed about just going in that that's how i know that it's in my head because i'm gonna be fine i'm gonna be fine but yeah, I'm back home and I just need to do things to distract me. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I do need to figure out what we're going to make for dinner. Maybe do a little cook with me segment in this video. That would be nice. I also have to do, oh, I also have to show you guys what I got from Sephora. So why don't we do that right now? All right, you guys, first off, do not mind that pile of clothes right there. That is all clothes that I purged from my closet. Um, I literally went through my entire closet and I am getting rid of so much clothes. Um, I'm not throwing it out. I'm going to send it to my stepmom, I believe. She usually takes a lot of my clothes and then I'm going to send it to my cousins. Um, and then I have a few people on Instagram that DM'd me uh, that were interested because I did post about it on my Instagram, just in one of my stories. And some people were like, hey, I'm interested if ever you're... Um, selling or giving away which like I'm not gonna sell these clothes I'm just gonna give them away because honestly like some of them are so old like they're all in good condition But some of them are just so old that like it's just not worth it like even for five bucks It's just, just not worth it. But anyways, let's get into this Sephora haul Okay, so first off I had to get some Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. These are my favorite. I use them all the time I've been using them for probably I want to say like a good six months by now and I love them. I have no complaints um, I have no reason to change shampoos. These work great for me and my head my hairdresser did like approve them Which is a first for me. Usually I get shit because um, Of the shampoo I get not from this hairdresser But like from past hairdressers who are just like no like you can't use this you can't use that That's not good. Just use this one and like they just don't have like any justifications to why I should be buying this specific one um, but I finally found one that I like like obviously I know that like Dove is just not that great for your hair But like if that's all you can afford then you shouldn't be getting shit on just because that's all you can afford for the moment um, But since I do dye my hair blonde and these are like blonde friendly or something like that I don't know how else to say it. I just really really like using these. Okay next I got a new face cleanser i got the kale plus green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser from you to the people right here i'll show you guys 
I'll have all of these products linked down below if you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, I saw, oh, what's his name, Hiram recommend this product and honestly like so far so good uh i've only been using it for a few days i got these products on i want to say tuesday and we're now friday so like i don't i can't really compare but like so far so good i haven't had any major breakouts which i usually do when i change um products but that might be coming on so if it does happen i know it's not specifically this product it's probably just because like my face needs to get used to a new product that's just how my face reacts which is fine i'm aware of it um but yeah so far so good it smells really really good and it makes my face like very shiny and like in a good way and um i don't know i really really like this product i do recommend it but um give me like a few more weeks to like really test it out and i'll probably do a morning routine at that point or like a night routine because that's where i use most of these products because i did get a few more products okay next i got this beta beta hydroxy acid from the inculus which was also a recommendation from hiram that i saw in one of his videos and i was like oh um i'm gonna try this out like i watched so many of his videos and like rewatch and like tried to like see what my skin type is and this was really inexpensive so i was like okay why not let's just try it out it's a really small bottle um so I'll probably like be done with it in like the next two to three months, I would say. I am using it every other day and I'm only going to be using it three days a week. So, so far I did Tuesday, I did Thursday and I'm going to do Saturday. So that's how I'm going to be using this product uh, for now. I don't think I'm going to use it more than three times a week. Hiram was saying not to, so I think unless I need to, I won't. I don't want to like put a lot of like different products on my skin that I shouldn't be putting like too much of so yeah I'm not going to be using this too much but so far so good again I've only been using it I've only used it twice so I've only been using it for a few days so just give me like a few weeks and I'll do like an updated nighttime routine because I'm pretty sure I've done that in the past okay and the last product that I got is this retinol 0.5% in squalane from the ordinary this I haven't used yet because in the video that I watched from Hiram he was saying to use it once a week at first and up to three times and not on the same day as the beta hydroxy acid i think that's how it's called yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the beta hydroxy acid on saturday and then on sunday or monday i will use this and i'm so sorry if you can hear alex in the background he's gaming right now um obviously he's having a lot of fun but he's very very loud but yeah anyways i'm going to use this either on sunday or monday and i'm going to start using it once a week um since i was doing so many new different products on my face i didn't want to add in a third one that is only recommended to start with like once a week for usage uh, so I'm going to use it at the end of the week and then it's up to three times a week so I think what I'm gonna do is probably do like Monday this Tuesday this product then Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday have no products other than my face cream go on my face so yeah I just spoke for five minutes about these products Hopefully it's not five minutes long in this video, but yeah, I'm going to end this clip right here. I'm going to figure out what I want to make for dinner and I'll bring you guys along for dinner time. Unless we're making something very, very basic and not that interesting, um, then I won't bring you guys along because it's just boring. But um, I will bring you guys along if I'm cooking something different and fun. All right, you guys, it's a little bit later. I already ate dinner. I didn't end up making anything. I got a headache and I just decided that I want to come for food, so I made pasta nothing special um but yeah i was just craving pasta since i was not feeling too good but i'm feeling a lot better so i'm guessing i was just probably hungry since i was really really stressed before my appointment this afternoon i really didn't eat that much today so i'm guessing that's just what it was because as soon as i started eating my headache went right away and i also drank a lot of water but right now i'm heading out the door i'm going to go bring that pile of clothes that was right beside my bed to my stepmother's house so well my stepmother like my dad in my stepmother's house so that she can go through it and see if she wants to keep some of my clothes she usually does um keep quite a lot of my clothes i still see her to this day wearing clothes that i had a few years back um which is really nice at least they're not going to waste um but let me show you guys how many bags i have of clothes right here i usually have a really big bag that i can just put everything in but i don't so this is what we're working with so we are working with five bags of clothes right here so I've got some shirts, some jeans, more shirts, and like cardigans. Um, this has, I think, shirts, cardigans, and dresses in there. And then I've got swimsuits right here. And they're 
all going over there so I'm getting rid of a whole bunch of clothes which I'm really really happy about and they're not gonna be in a pile in the bedroom anymore but yeah that's what I'm gonna go do I'm gonna go bring that to their house good morning you guys it is Mother's Day today and we are going around bringing flowers to everyone in our family literally we just stopped at my aunt's place I dropped her off flowers uh, she actually has two kids but her two kids are not there this weekend so I knew she was gonna be alone which I know she does enjoy her time alone but I really wanted to bring her flowers so we did um, so we went to Costco just the same thing as we did with my grandmother we went to Costco right in the morning got flowers for everyone now we're going to see his stepmother and dad we're gonna go give them flowers well them we're gonna go give her flowers and then we're going to his mom's house to give her flowers or no she already has flowers we're bringing her a bottle of wine because she got like she has so many flowers she, yeah she has like I think she has two bouquets already yeah, right. so we're not buying her flowers we're buying her a bottle of wine <laughs> no no she doesn't need more she'll be fine um, and then I'm gonna give some to my stepmom and then to my mom but my mom is like last on the list because she's not even home this weekend so we're gonna go drop them off at the house and put them in a vase for her for when she gets home but yeah that's that's what we're doing I know this vlog is probably so long at this point but I really wanted to bring you guys along just for like this Mother's Day run I guess that we're doing and you guys see these flowers we got in the back they're so nice I'm so happy with the flowers they had at Costco like they were prepared like they had all of these flowers out and they were all ready to go and like they're nice they're not old flowers you can tell that they do have like older flowers but most of them are really really nice flowers that were fresh from this morning or yesterday so that's really really nice anyways we're going to finish our little mother's day run and i might update you guys later and I, or i might just end this vlog at a certain point because i know it's very very long what is up you guys i am currently editing this vlog and i realized that i haven't ended it off so i'm here to end it i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below for more um and also don't forget to follow my instagram i also have all of the sephora products that i mentioned in this video linked down below so if you guys are interested definitely check them out it has been a few weeks <laughs> since this vlog i'd say a good like week and a half since i vlogged on mother's day so yeah so far i love these products i definitely recommend but i will be doing an updated i think nighttime routine is what i'm going to do um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video also <laughs> At this point in time, I have my wisdom teeth removed. My face is pretty good because it's been a week and a half. No, it's been a week since I got them removed. Um, my next video should be a video of how it went, um, how I felt and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested, definitely don't forget to subscribe down below. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.